Hi little bears, are you ready for another story? Alyssa, what have we got now? One snowy night. Thank you. One snowy night by Nick Butterworth. <laughs> lots and lots of pages. It's cold in the park in winter, but Percy the park keeper doesn't mind. He puts on his warm coat and his big scarf and wears two pairs of welly socks inside his Wellington boots. Percy likes to be out in the fresh air. In the middle of the park there is a little hut. This is where Percy lives. When it gets too cold to be outside, Percy goes into his hut where it is cosy and warm. The animals who live in the park all know Percy's hut. Every day he shares his lunch with them. One winter's night, it was so cold it began to snow. Great big snowflakes fell past the window of Percy's hut. Brrr, said Percy, I think I'll need an extra blanket tonight. He made himself some hot cocoa and got ready for bed. Suddenly Percy heard a tapping sound. There was somebody at the door. Now who can that be at this time of night? thought Percy. He went to the door and looked out. There on the step was a squirrel. It looked very cold and miserable. I can't get to sleep, Percy, said the squirrel. My bed is full of snow. Oh dear, said Percy. Never mind, I've got plenty of room for two. The squirrel snuggled down next to Percy and soon began to feel warm. Knock, knock, it was the door again. Now who can that be? thought Percy. Standing outside were two shivering rabbits. It's freezing, said one rabbit. We're frozen, said the other. You poor things, said Percy. Come in and warm up. The rabbit squeezed into the bed next to Percy and the squirrel. There wasn't much room. Could you face the other way? Percy asked the squirrel. Your tail is tickling my nose. Knock, knock. Oh dear, said Percy. Now there's someone else at the door. It was a fox. He looked very cold and hungry. Can I come in too? He asked. Percy scratched his head and thought for a minute. Well, if you promise to behave, he said. I promise, said the fox, and he squeezed into the bed next to all the other animals. Bump, oops, <gasps> the squirrel fell out. Who did that? asked the squirrel crossly. Knock, knock, knock. Goodness gracious, said Percy. It's the door again. This time Percy had quite a surprise. There on the step was a badger, two ducks, a hedgehog and a whole family of mice. They all wanted a bed for the night. Poor old Percy and poor old Percy's bed. The animals pushed and shoved and rolled around the bed but there was just not enough room for all of them. Soon the bed covers ended up in a big tight ball. Then bump! The covers rolled right off the bed and everybody fell onto the floor. Oh dear, said Percy. This won't do at all. My bed is just too small. Suddenly one of the mice pricked up his ears. What's that noise? He squeaked. Everyone listened hard. Now they could all hear it. There was a scratching, scraping sound. It seemed to be coming from underneath them. There's something moving under the floor, whispered Percy. The animals looked frightened and the mice all started to squeak at once. Oh dear, what could it be? It must be a monster. With fierce claws. And sharp teeth. The noise grew louder and louder. Then one of the floorboards began to move. Look out, it's coming through the floor. Suddenly there was a loud creak cried the animals and they all ran to hide. 
But Percy wasn't frightened. He started to chuckle. Then he laughed out loud. A small dark head was sticking up through the floorboards. It isn't a monster, said Percy. It's a mole. I'm sorry to burst in like this, said the mole. I knocked on the door but nobody heard me. Percy helped the mole up through the hole in the floor, sat him on his hot water bottle to get warm and put the floorboard back. It's all right, everyone, he called. You can come out now. But nobody moved. Nobody stirred. Nobody wanted to come out. The squirrel was tucked away in the pocket of Percy's dressing gown. The, cur the, the hedgehog was in his coat. The fox, the rabbits and a badger and the ducks were all safely hidden away. The mice had even squeezed themselves into Percy's slippers. Everyone had found a cosy bed. Well, I never, said Percy. Percy yawned and snuggled down in his own bed once again. That's better. I've got plenty of room, he said, and a little spare for a mole. And that was One Snowy Night by Nick Butterworth.